<laughs> All right, guys, give me 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Studios. And, uh, yeah, I've had a long day, so we're going to crack a beer. My favorite beer of all time is the Yingling Lager. Okay, so a couple things we're going to start off with. No, Joe Biden is not the greatest president ever. I was thinking about actually putting that in uh, the title. And I decided, you know, YouTube will probably go ahead and take my channel down, as they have done on several other YouTube channels, and we'll talk about that here in a few minutes. Anyway, I want to go ahead and give a big shout out to my friend, uh, Mr. LB. Uh, he has a GoFundMe uh, page, and he is trying to pay for his father's funeral. Uh, an Army veteran, uh, Mr. LB is also a, uh, a veteran of the 82nd Airborne Division, 505th, I believe. Well, anyway, uh, I would appreciate if you go down there and check it out uh, as soon as I get paid from the guys over at YouTube this weekend. <laughs> I'll be making a sizable donation to that guy. So anyway, uh, he did send me a link, and this is one of the coolest links I've seen uh, YouTube-wise in, in an article. And as I'm waiting for this thing to upload, because my internet sucks here, uh, this comes from, hold on, wait for it. Uh, who the hell is this from? Business Insider. And this makes me so happy. And I want to, it makes me so, so happy because we've always had a negative outlook on these people called millennials. Well, this time, we don't have to have a negative outlook. Now, I'm going to read this to you. I'm going to move the old computer over here. Gun and ammunition sales are booming as firearm background checks surge, and the CEO of Vista Outdoor says millennials and women are leading the charge. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to read this thing. I'm going to give you some insight on this deal. Here we go. Gun and ammunition sales are surging as the country begins to reopen from the pandemic. Guys, I think it was surging before the pandemic uh, got halfway through. In 2020, the FBI processed a record 39.7 million firearm background checks, the most of any year since the agency started recording the data. That's just what they've recorded. Now, that doesn't mean they've recorded the person-to-person -person sales. This is huge, okay? The most of any year since the agency. This year, Data indicated that there could be another record set with the firearm background checks up over 30% from this time last year. Holy smokes. Way to go, millennials. Because you know what happens? If a millennial owns a firearm, and say, for instance, they own something that takes a standard capacity magazine. I would pick this thing up right now, but for some reason, YouTube, if you pick up a firearm or you have any firearms in your new videos, well, they demonetize the damn thing right off the bat. Uh, for some reason, I'm still waiting. I swear to God. For some reason, that video I did last night, really, uh, with me just holding up optics, scopes, uh, that, that's having a tough time being monetized. And uh, I don't know why, because I'm not promoting the sale of anything. I'm not promoting something of ill will. I'm not doing anything in a dangerous, dangerous environment. I am really about to lose my shit. Okay, Vista Outdoor, a company that manufactures ammunition, outdoor sports, and recreational equipment, told Fox News Business that it has seen heightened interest in firearms and ammunition in recent months. All right. Uh, <laughs> while the pandemic drove people outdoors, and even as restrictions on indoor gatherings are easing, people continue to express interest in the outdoor activities such as hunting. No, it's not hunting, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just go ahead and face the facts. They're looking to protect themselves. Because, one, with the defunding of the police, that big old rage that they had until they found out that, wow, shit, this shit don't work. <laughs> Let's refund those guys. So they jumped back in there, refunded these guys. Uh, but people wanted to protect themselves. And that was the biggest issue of the day, protect themselves. In March, the FBI received about 4.7 million firearm background checks, more than ever, recorded in a single month. Chris Metz, the CEO of Vista Outdoor, said new demographics have begun to express interest in firearms. The Vista Outdoor added 8 million new people to its hunting and shooting categories in 2021, most of which have been younger generations as well as women and people of color. Now, I saw an article, and I was going to report on this, but they were talking about more people of color are buying firearms, but do those people of color actually own the dealerships or the gun deals or the gun shops? I mean, okay, so why do we have to be questioning this? Can't we just go on this computer? Lord have mercy. Uh, Meltz attributed the interest to a shift towards outdoor activities, especially hunting in the wake of the pandemic. No, whatever. We haven't seen these trends before. More than more millennials 
more younger generation people. Hold on one second. You know what I need to do? I need to relax and chill out. Uh, I'm just going to smell that. Uh, let's see here. More people of color, women, are embracing hunter and field-to-table movements, filling their freezers with fresh meat, embracing safety and self-reliancy. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> if that's what you think. Let me know what y'all think. I mean, I believe it's because people feel the need to go ahead and protect themselves because our bureaucrats are taking away the ability of our police officers out there to do their job. Now, I know there's a lot of people who think police officers are bad. There are a few out there, yes, but the majority of folks, they're not. Okay, earlier this month, Vista Outdoor reported that the sales increased 40% in the company's fourth quarter, ending March 31st, compared to the same quarter last year. That's huge. Overall, the pandemic seems to have given new life to hunting. The Washington Post reported earlier in the year that Michigan and Nevada, states known for wildlife hunting, saw a 67% and 30% hike, respectively, in registrations for new hunting license. Okay, well, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, of the new hunters, women and younger generations make up the fastest growing groups. The publication reported hunting licenses and rifles are not the only types of firearms seeing an uptick in interest in the fast in the past four months, nearly 16 million people have initiated firearm background checks. All right, whatever. Okay, so in any case, Richard, thanks very much for sending this out to me. Um, yeah, kudos to the millennials who are getting out there kicking ass and taking names, man. It's up to you to protect yourself. Now, let's talk about something a little bit more important. I've got a couple emails today asking, hey, man, have you been demonetized? Has your channel been demonetized? And looking out, I think one of the biggest channels is Talon Psy. What the hell's going on right now? Well, I will tell you this. Every time that I go onto YouTube and I see the creator's crew corners or whatever, I'm seeing people who pretty much they wear black fingernail polish and they're guys and they're pretty much they're happy with showing men with dressing up as women. But by God, you show one firearm or you have a, fi uh, a channel that talks about our Second Amendment rights or ill uh, non-positive comments about the current administration. I said one thing about Hillary Clinton and Be Be uh, what is his name, Biden, and all of a sudden my views went from here to here overnight. YouTube is doing their best to stifle what you and I say. And one of the ways they're doing that is they're creating an environment where you're not welcome. Second Amendment is not welcome in the YouTube world. Yeah. So I was sitting over here with a rare breed trigger, getting ready to put that in the uh, KS-47, a 10 and a half inch AK or AR platform with the uh, the 7.62 by 39, because I thought that'd be a lot of fun. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to do an intro in one of these videos. I'm going to tell you to go over to Rumble, and I'll put the link down below to that video so you can go over and actually see something happening. And that's the sad part about it. And I'm not talking about our First Amendment rights, man. This is a private corporation. They do whatever the hell they want. But I know where these guys are coming from because in April of last year, in June of last year, my channel was demonetized. I woke up mid-April. It was done. Had to wait a month. It got remonetized in uh, May. And then this, 30 days after that, in June, I was demonetized again. And luckily, ever since that, I have been okay. But every time I get an email from somebody saying, hey, have you been demonetized? I'm like, shit, please don't do that to me. It scares the dog shit out of me. A lot of people were talking about, you know, I'm glad to see you're doing something with guns. But in all honesty, when you guys... Uh, you, you don't understand what it's like to wake up in the morning. Uh, CRS firearms. I, was, I did watch this video today. It's like somebody coming in and they ruin your world right off the bat. And there's not a damn thing that you can do about it because we are a minority as far as they are concerned. So what do we do? I have no idea. But I tell you what, it's demoralizing. It's hard hit when your viewership goes from here to here overnight. Uh, I'll just give an example. At one point in time, we're not going to talk about money, but I will tell you that I was averaging about 150 to 250 subscribers a day. Now, maybe 15. So I know what's going on. I'm reading the writing on the walls. So we're going to keep it up. We're going to keep it going. We will not let them win because that <laughs> that's just the environment of a loser, if you take my word. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are down below. A bunch of people lost their money. It's like getting kicked in the nuts because you put your heart and your soul into these videos and they just pull the rug right out from underneath you. All the time they're just saying, stop it. 
and I'll just leave it at that. So go to Boy32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. And neither is the internet, I guess. KB32, I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Cheers. Mm.